प्रेसिडेंसी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया डॉक्टर अनिल शर्मा सेक्रेटरी ऑफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ गुजरात डिस्ट्रिक्ट गेस्ट पार्टिसिपेंट ऑफ दिस फ्यूचर स्टिक सेशन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्किल्स फॉर इंडस्ट्री फोर पॉइंट ओ कंट्री and Sri Narendra Modi, our Honorable Prime Minister, to enhance the country's standing as a global high level. Admittedly, Gujarat is the voice of India today. For what Gujarat thinks today, the country thinks tomorrow. The vibrant Gujarat Global Summit, with such a large-scale participation of industry leaders, investors, policy makers, and thought leaders from the country, and abroad showcase what honorable prime minister said vision of a prosperous gujarat for a self reliant india <coughs> this year was the 20th year of vibrant gujarat as a summit of success in the 10th edition i'm surprised by sir narendra modi as the chief minister of gujarat in 2003 vibrant gujarat summit has positioned itself as an iconic event that bring to top notch political leaders industry experts and investors on to a common platform it has over the years proved beneficial for the indian companies to showcase their innovation best practices as also the investment potential of gujarat the state government of gujarat in the last over two decades has made tremendous progress to position itself as the country's most industrialized state having the highest industrial output among the other states in the country clearly the credit for this can be attributed to the vibrant gujarat summit honorable sri narendra modi ji as the chief minister of gujarat pioneered the vibrant gujarat summit and ensured its success by his commitment and drive the vibrant gujarat summit should overwhelm the entire country in its sweep many states followed the suit by the holding investor summit and thus bringing a healthy competition among the states friends <coughs> i greatly value the opportunity of speaking here today the platform presents an existing opportunity of interaction and learning i understand that new technologies and innovations are engaging and united attention of every one of us present here truly We are living in the trying times. The IT-driven emerging technologies have presented unique opportunities for growth and excellence. Technology has been a great equalizer. India, with a reasonable track record in IT and IDS, is firmly positioned to make use of the Industry 4.0, which is sweeping the world of industry and innovation. Today, our industries and business are. adequately supported by 5g and digital drive or digital public infrastructure the great enabler we have missed the previous three industrial revolution for historical reason we cannot possibly miss out the fourth one for the first time in our country we have three different factors demography demand and decisive government with all this we have now brought to the indian moment we now our future is full of we know Our future is full of promise and potential. Today, the world's population rapidly aging. Bharat is empowered by its youth. Experts suggest that in the coming 25 to 30 years, Bharat will lead the terms of the working age population. Therefore, the eyes of the entire world are set on the youth of Bharat. Our young students in college and university students are the ones. who will shape their careers in this crucial 25 years the youth will be creating a new society for realizing the goal of vikas in bharat by 2047 everyone has to contribute more particularly the youth with this spirit 
the government aims to connect every youth to the action plan of a Vikashi Bharat. It is through Sabka Prayas that a Vikashi Bharat will materialize in 2047. Each state must make its own number contribution. For us, the state of Gujarat will lead the way. Driven by its inherent entrepreneurial spirit, the state of Gujarat has taken significant strides in developing a resilient and vibrant economy over the past two decades. Apart from being a national leader of the various sector, the state has emerged as one of the most preferred investment destinations. Gujarat is committed to realizing under Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi's vision of an Atma Nirvana Bharat and Vikas in Bharat at 2047. And the state has been working relentlessly towards this vision. Friends, today the entire world talks about Gujarat model of development. It is a model that celebrates the collective genius of the people of Gujarat. Gujarat's development journey is characterized as development oriented, inclusive, and participatory. Optimum use of technology was made to minimize corruption and increase the pace of development. The biggest strength of Gujarat model is women led development. All these three sectors, namely agriculture, industries, and service, made an equal and active contribution towards the growth of Gujarat, and women have a substantial role to play in each of these sectors. Today, Gujarat is the largest exporter in India with the current transactional value of 2 billion US dollars. Today, Gujarat is a leader in Indian business and economic development. It is the only state in the country to have, to have an operational international financial service center, IFLC, and has attracted numerous multinational corporations to set up operations in the state. One of the most attractive tourist destinations in the country, Gujarat has some beautiful beaches, wildlife sanctuaries, ports and temples. MSMEs in Gujarat have taken a central role in the local economy. There are around 11.26 lakhs registered MSMEs in Gujarat, accounting for 7.5% of the total 1.48 crore MSMEs registered nationally. The state is fast becoming a major multi-product MSME cluster, providing immense economic opportunities to the people of Gujarat. Gujarat is not only a leader in the business and entrepreneurship, it is also a leader in the educational landscape. The universities of the world are coming to set up their campus in Gujarat's deep city, which will provide quality higher education to our students in India. Gujarat is a state that always aligns its educational policies with that of the government of India. It is a leader among the states in the driving the implementation of NEP 2020. The Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has expressed that India has a potential to evolve into not just a hub of knowledge but also the world's leading skill destination, serving as a catalyst of the global growth. And our Prime Minister has given equal emphasis on knowledge and competency. By knowledge will come from education, competency will come from skill. <coughs> Therefore, NEP integrates skilling right from class 6 in schooling. The government in line with the NEP is diligently working on fostering greater synergy between education and skill. There are no two views that the country needs to foster and develop a proficient, skilled workforce capable of propelling the nation's advancement and prosperity. Mastery of digital skills is now more crucial than ever before. There is an imperative need to make our youth future ready to dominate the world of jobs. Since most of the future jobs lies in the domain of new technologies, we have to know options but to impact our youth the 21st century knowledge and skills. Our entire education and skill ecosystems are fully oriented to make their contribution in making our youth future ready. Guided by the Honorable Prime Minister leadership, we have initiated a mission to skill, reskill and upskill our workforce preparing them for the Vikas in Bharat 2047. The subjective, subjective is to equip our youth 
and industries with competence required to excel on global platforms. Our Skill India Digital Portal is becoming the major interface between skilled workforce and the industries, truly on the strength of our demography and the proactive policies of the government, we wish to move ahead. We are the fifth largest economy in the world now and soon we will grow to become the third largest economy. We understand that for this to happen, we need to augment the manufacturing sector and bring about a culture of innovation. We take pride in our startup culture, which is taking firm root in India. Hence, in 2014, there are around 350 startups. But now, in 2023, due to the Prime Minister's vision and drive, the number has risen manifold to 1.2 lakhs. There has been more than 300 times rise in the just nine years. With 100 plus unicorns, India is the third largest startup ecosystem in the world. Honorable Prime Minister said, for startups are changing the rules of the game. That's why I believe startups are going to be the backbone of new India. A good number of startups are emerging in type two, type three cities. These are converting the ideas of youth from ordinary and poor families into business. Today, lakhs of youth are getting employment in these startups. Friends, if I cite few examples, few experience, in four U labs providing an IoT-based solution in the field of agri-tech for quality assessment of fruits and vegetables. The boy is from hinterland of Uttar Pradesh. Sub Kirana. Indoor waste e commerce giant serving a clientele of one lakh Kirana stores across the states of Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, UP, and Chhattisgarh. The founder, Tanu Teja Saraswat, has studied from a state government college in Bikane. Dilkhus Kumar, a resident of Banagao, village of Bihar, was a rich puller and a vegetable vendor. Today, he is proud owner of road base renowned taxi service startup in Bihar. They have a technology-based platform offering end-to-end -end agriculture service to farmers which another success stories from partner. The startup ecosystem thrives on innovation, the rise in startup indicates the implementation in the country's innovation profile. In global innovation index, today India ranks 40th globally in 132 economies from rank 81 in 2050. Bharat is driven by honorable Prime Minister's call for Jay Anusandan. Bharat has high aspiration in sectors like quantum technology, semiconductors, and hydrogen energy. The government is focusing on all these sectors, creating a modern ecosystem for the 21st century. Today, the world believes that Bharat will provide low cost, quality, sustainable, and scalable solutions to the global challenges. Our Chandrayaan mission has greatly increased the world's expectation on Bharat. The people of India are firmly believe behind the government to support all its measures. We all are committed to realize the Modi's guarantee for Vikas in Bharat at 2047. In this journey, we seek everyone's cooperation and also contribution. May Gujarat, the land of Mahatma, Sardar and Modi, lead the way. Thank you, friends. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister, sir, for your insight.